Looking at this question here, we're given some waveform, VFT, it's a triangular waveform, and we're asked to make some calculations. So let's look at the first question. Find the fundamental frequency. So what do we mean by fundamental frequency? Remember, for a periodic signal, the fundamental frequency is the reciprocal of the fundamental period. So if you find one period or one cycle of this periodic waveform, that is your period. So t is equal to 2 seconds, so the fundamental frequency is simply 1 over 2. And the unit is hertz. So if we were to find omega naught, that would be 2 pi times f naught. Okay, that's your fundamental frequency. It's also known as the first harmonic. And all the other harmonics are multiples of these. They're integer multiples of these. So the nth harmonic will be will have a frequency of n times f naught. So part b is asking for the frequency of the fourth harmonic. So the frequency of the fourth harmonic is simply n times f naught. In this case, n is 4. So it's 4 times f naught, which we just found. And that gives me 2 hertz. The fifth harmonic would be 5 times f naught. The sixth harmonic would be 6 times f naught, etc. Next question, do we have an even function or an odd function? So let's remind ourselves, what do we mean by even and odd? So an even function is a function where v of minus t is equal to v of t. An odd function is a function where v of minus t is equal to minus v of t. So if we look at this signal here, what, is it, what happens at the y-axis? You can see that v of minus t is equal to v of t. It's symmetric about that axis. So what we have is an even function, something that looks a little bit like a cosine wave. So it's, it's even. And we can say even because v of minus t equals v of t. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate the Fourier um, series expansion terms, the coefficients. I'm going to start with the easiest one. The easiest one being a naught. And a naught is just the DC term. So one way of calculating that is by calculating the integral of the function. An easier way, perhaps, for a simple signal like this that's clearly symmetric about the time axis, is simply to find or to, to observe that the area of the curve under the time axis is equivalent to the area above because it's a symmetric function. The areas are the same. So we can simply say a naught equals zero. You don't have to do a lot of work to find that. The next question asks for the sine coefficients, so bn. Now the sine coefficients, remember sine is an odd function. So these are the odd components. And we've already established that this is an even function. So an even function doesn't have odd components. So we don't need to do the calculation. We can simply say bn equals 0 because vft is even. So 
B of n would only exist, it would only be non-zero if we had um, either an odd function or a function that was neither an odd nor even. But for an even function, we can't have um, odd components. Okay, so now we are told that the a n terms, the even component terms, has a formula. And we're given that a is 2, and we just need to fill in this table. So this really is no problem at all. So along the top here, what we have is the values for n. So here n is 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 6. So what's the corresponding frequency? The frequency, remember, is always n times f naught. So when n is 0, the frequency is 0, and what we have is dc. But the fundamental, or the first harmonic, is simply f naught. And the second harmonic is twice f naught, 3 times f naught, 4 times f naught, 5 times f naught. But that's not very helpful. We need the numbers. So f naught is 0 0.5, twice 0 0.5 is 1, 3 times 1.5, 2, 2.5. So that's easy. Now we're going to find the A terms. These, we need to use this formula here. So we simply plug that into there. Notice what we're told in the question. We're told it, this formula only holds for odd values of n, and it's 0 for even values. So for even values, like 2, 4, 6, we can simply put in a 0. 2, 4, 6. And here I would simply put 4a over n pi squared. 4a over n pi squared. And instead of a, I would put 2, and instead of n, I would put the corresponding value. So, 4 times 2 is 8. I'd have 8 over n pi squared. n is 1, so I can just say 8 over pi squared. Here would have 8 over 2 pi squared, so it's 8 over 4 pi squared, 8 over 4, oh sorry, we have 3, so it's 8 over 9 pi squared. And here we'd have 8 over 5 pi squared, 5 squared is 25. Now the B terms, we've already established that these are all 0. And B0 doesn't exist. Remember the Fourier series expansion only has an A0. It doesn't have a B0. So we also forgot to put this 0 here. And finally, this compact harmonic representation, Cn, we can simply substitute An and Bn. We know that Bn is 0. So Cn is going to be equal to An, so we can just put those numbers in as they are. And there you have it. That's, that's the answer to this question.